Today is International Women's Day, a day to celebrate the social, economic, and cultural achievements of women. And we are highlighting here at Erie News Now, women-owned businesses really across our area and telling their stories about what it means to be a female business owner. Our Tom Kowalski talked with some local business owners about their journey to becoming an entrepreneur, and he joins us now tonight. Hi, hi Tom. Good evening, Mike and Eva. Now, despite the great, link, the great lengths that we've come in society in terms of gender equality, some local businesswomen say they still face difficulties in running their businesses, from securing funding to finding a good work-life balance. But one thing is agreed on. In the end, it's worth it. Whether it's your favorite restaurant, coffee shop, or something else, there's a good chance your favorite local business is owned by a woman. But even today... Many women, such as Tipsy Bean founder Giselle Luttrell, say they've experienced difficulties based solely on their gender. So I've been in the fitness industry, the cleaning industry, the construction industry, and probably the hardest thing to overcome is the stigma that is attached to women being over-emotional or uh, not having as high of intelligence in something. And uh, those are very archaic ways of thinking. And right next door. Give a Crepe owner Stephanie Clausen says it's important for women-owned businesses to learn from each other. Thankfully, I have a lot of great mentorship and a lot of great partnership with other locally-owned um, businesses by women. Uh, we have a very good system to be able to support each other. And Lynn Fogel, owner of Shirley's on Route 97, says local businesswomen love seeing each other succeed. Reach out to someone that's already done it. We want to help. We'd love to help. We're proud of who we are. And um, especially in Erie, there's a lot of women out there that are in banking that they have a heart of gold and they're happy to help. But Latrell says it's important to look to the whole community for help as well. Don't be afraid to walk up to a man and just ask them for their help. I think that's a lot of hindrance that women feel as well, is that they just can't approach men. And I would say those barriers are breaking down and more men want to see women succeed in business as well in this town. Now, women that we spoke with did say they also faced everyday challenges of all business owners, but they shouldn't, that shouldn't discredit them the work that they've done to get their female-led business up and running. Live from the Alert Desk, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.